Hi guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker, my name is Matt. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Palo Alto's next generation of firewall deployment modes. The first mode I'm going to be talking about is the TAP mode. This is the easiest way to gain full network visibility by allowing the firewall to passively listen for packets sent to the TAP interface from another network device. The real benefits of this deployment mode is there's no need to make changes to the existing network but at the same time allows full reporting analysis of potential threats without the need of putting the firewall in line. Also, if you or your company is new to PAN firewalls, this would be a great way of evaluating the firewall's features and capabilities before you decide to buy the product. Okay, so I put together this diagram to demonstrate the tap mode deployment. It shows an internal LAN connected to a switch, which in turn connects to an existing firewall out to the internet. Let's say we want to have visibility of the inbound and outbound traffic traversing the interfaces between the internal network and the existing firewall, and then send a copy of the packets to the Palo Alto firewall for analysis. We can do this by connecting the TAP interface from the Palo Alto to the switch, and then configure a port mirror sourcing from the interfaces on the switch or a VLAN to the switch port connected to the TAP interface. The PAN firewall does allow you to configure multiple TAP interfaces, allowing you to monitor or analyze different traffic types. Maybe you want to analyze end user web traffic going to a proxy or a server going to a load balancer. This traffic could be added to a separate TAP interface back to the Palo, or it could be added to an existing mirror port uh, by choosing different source interfaces or VLANs. But be aware there are some limitations with the TAP deployment as it's very much a passive state, so there's no way of manipulating the traffic. The primary function is for reporting analysis purposes. The virtual wire deployment method allows you to place the firewall in line bridging network segments together by binding interfaces. This is often referred to as a transparent firewall or a bump in the wire. The advantages are being able to drop the firewall into the existing network and gain full visibility which can examine, block, shape traffic without the need to redesign the network topology or the reallocation of IP addresses. Using the VWire deployment still allows you to configure full pan next generation firewall features by leveraging app ID, content ID, user ID, SSL decryption, NAT and QoS. However, a virtual wire does not support routing or management traffic or even IPsec VPN termination as there's no layer 3 IP addresses assigned to the vWire interface. The layer 2 deployment mode can be compared to the process of creating a VLAN on a switch and then adding an access port to the VLAN. On the PAM firewall a VLAN object is created and in turn the VLAN interfaces are assigned to the VLAN object. Security zones are utilized so that layer 2 traffic passes through the firewall which will be subject to security policies which can leverage Palo's next generation firewall features such as app ID, content ID, user ID and SSL decryption. However, there are some limitations. NAT, routing, IPsec termination or management traffic cannot be configured on the layer 2 interfaces as there are no layer 3 addresses assigned to the VLAN interface. It's also worth noting that the firewall does not participate in the spanning tree protocol. However, the firewall does forward spanning tree packets from other switches through the VLAN object to other layer 2 devices. In most cases, there is a need for the VLAN traffic to reach other network segments. The solution is to create a layer 3 VLAN interface and attach it to a virtual router. VLAN traffic will then use the layer 3 interface as a default gateway to the other networks. Layer 3 is a popular deployment mode. This is when the firewall is acting as a router and has an IP address assigned to an interface. A virtual router or external router must be used to route the traffic across multiple interfaces. This also means that the firewall can examine traffic shape and block traffic. In Layer 3 mode, the firewall can be configured to form App ID, Content ID, User ID, SSL decryption, NAT, IPsec termination and QoS. 
An interface can also act as a DHCP client to receive dynamically assigned IP addresses and a DHCP server to give out IP addresses to client devices. In my opinion, the layer three mode should be used wherever possible as this will allow you to leverage all of the Palo Alto next generation firewall features and provides the most functionality. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Over the next coming weeks, I will be uploading more videos where I'll be sharing more content about Palo Alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them. If there are any topics you would like me to discuss with you or explain in my videos, please leave a comment below. Please smash that like button and of course hit that subscribe button. Thanks.